two of the themes that are emerging in our conversation are, uh, I think, talent and discipline. Mm. Um, obviously, you need talent to compete at that level. Um, but listening to you, it seems like you value discipline Ooh. a lot more than talent. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, like I said, I always consider myself kind of a low talent guy in a lot of ways. So I was going to make up for it with discipline. I guess here's the thing I always think about. If I fail, we never want to think about failure, but I say, okay, well, if I fail, which is a distinct possibility, and I failed one of the great, I failed a bunch in my life early on as a kid. Like, you know, I didn't have parents telling me that I was, you know, super special. I knew I was special. I knew God made me. I knew what he did for me. I knew they loved me, but it wasn't like, oh, you're the most special. You, I wasn't raised like that. I didn't get trophies. You know, my parents didn't snow plow the path for me. So I failed. So failure, I'm not scared of failure. I don't like it, but I'm not scared of it. So I always say, though, okay, but if I fail, like let's go worst case scenario. If I fail, I want to make sure I don't look back and say, well, I failed because I wasn't disciplined enough because I didn't put the effort in. You talk about, somebody bring up my dad and it's like my dad sits me down and says, son, we're going to have a man to man talk. You know, these are just things you pick up. I pick up over the years, a couple things. But his thing is just best effort always. Best effort always. That's it. That's all you need to do. So discipline. There's, you're going to have pain in your life. It's either going to be the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Mm. I, the pain of regret. I've, I, there's some regrets I have. I regret. I look back in college. I wish, I, I wish I'd have studied harder in college. I kind of look like, well... I could have I could have tried harder. Did I always put my best effort forward? No. With football, did I always? Oh yeah. Because I like I like football better in school. But that you know, regret's a bad feeling. It's a bad, bad feeling. So yeah, discipline. I mean, for me, it, it's all about I'm I'm always kind of looking at ways like how do I how do I refine whatever process I'm doing. How do I bring more and more discipline? I always prided myself as a football player. Like, I'm going to be the most disciplined. I'm going to be the first one there in the mornings. I'm going to watch the most film. I'm going to do an extra workout every week. I'm going to have the best diet. You know, all those things. It was just like, like that was, that was sort of the game to me as a football player. And for me, for life, it's like, well, I mean, so you talk about, you know, you want to change your life, change your habits. All about habits. So I, I know that I need a, I do really well with structure and discipline. That's the, if I don't have that, if I'm just sort of making it up as I go along, I get loose real quick and then I'll have serious, serious pain of regret. But that's really countercultural, right? Yeah. I mean, freedom, do whatever you want, this and that. Yeah, you can. But then that means the pain's going to come later. Pain of regret.